This is the Nikon FM2N, produced from 1984 to 2001, the later N model, which stands for new, features a slightly faster sync at 1 250th of a second. Shutter speeds up to 1 4000th of a second, which is rapid, and at the time, unheard of, all due to the titanium blades, which later changed to aluminium. Fully mechanical and built like an absolute tank, it's not served me wrong once. It's as reliable as rain on a UK weather forecast. I fit it with the dense 50mm 1.4 Nikkor AIS lens, which has produced some amazing results. Playing in the background now are some of the clips where I featured the FM2N and all these images were shot using it. Marketed as a semi-professional film camera, I picked this up for £110 about four years ago, which unfortunately now is not the case. It's a lot more expensive. It was my first proper film camera. I owned a Canon A1, which was a bit janky and not my favorite to use. And this, as soon as I bought it, felt absolutely perfect in my hands and has performed absolutely astonishingly. I've never had an issue and if I do, I know that being all mechanical, except a light meter inside, which you only need a small LR44 battery for, can easily be replaced. I trust this camera being incredibly sturdy. I've been to Vienna, I've been to Porto, Lisbon, I've been to Prague, UK, Budapest, travelled throughout Hungary with it and it's always been functioning absolutely perfectly. The body alone weighs 540 grams and matched with the lens weighs about 0.75 kilograms, which isn't too light to be honest considering it's just a 35 millimeter, but I do think it adds to the sturdiness and I can't recommend a better beginner camera to intermediate camera to professional camera for your film. It's honestly perfect. I've done many a video on it as you can see and I started with a 1.8 lens which came with the body which I quickly sold off and switched this 1.4 lens which added a bit of extra weight but added a bit of extra speed and this lens renders everything pretty perfectly. For my black and whites, I shoot it with a red filter to increase the contrast and I try to shoot a faster speed film. For colour, I don't use any polarisers, I used to, but not anymore, I probably should pick another one up. The lens features a declicked aperture, which is absolutely amazing for any fast photography where I need to change the exposure triangle by just adjusting the aperture and matching it with the speed of the shutter set at. I'm very tempted to do this to all my lenses, which I can, because it just makes shooting so easy, especially around a city, so street photography is ideal. As someone who's not particularly skilled with flash photography, although I'd like to start picking it up a bit more, it does sink to 1 250th of a second, which is pretty impressive apparently for the time. So. That might be something to consider if you're into that kind of photography. Exposure has never been hard to perfect on this camera with a 6040 center weighted meter. Um, it's easy to see the little plus and minus side through the viewfinder, which provides excellent overexposure, underexposure of the scene. So you can render it absolutely perfectly. It has an ISO range between 12 and 6400, which is easily set at the top of the camera, rotating the little dial to whichever you'd prefer. Finally, there were some limited edition versions that were released. One was the FM2T, which is made out of titanium, and the other one was the FM2200, which I would like to get my hands on one day. That's all for this video. If you want more reviews of my camera collection, let me know in the comments and subscribe and like and I might make some more.